Today, we are talking about stick tips. And if you have never thought about how the size or the shape of your stick tip affects your sound on the drum set, then this might be revealing. Now, I know for a fact that the specific stick and the stick tip that you use makes a significant difference on cymbals and on the ride in particular. Um, in person. I know that you can definitely hear this difference in person and I am confident that if you were here right now and we played through all of these different sticks, you would hear a significant difference on the ride. There are two extra questions that I'm trying to answer for myself today and that is how big of a sound difference does the stick tip make in a recording scenario? So when there's uh, you know mixing involved and when there's multiple microphones, how big is that difference? Even though I can hear it in person, how significant is it in the microphones? And then also, how big of a difference does the stick tip make on drums? I think the way that drums and cymbals interact with the stick are fundamentally different. And people will talk about how you know, certain stick tips will give you a fatter or you know, a thinner sound on the drums. And I've always been a little bit skeptical of that. I know that the sticks obviously feel very different when you're playing, so you might play differently with different sticks, but I don't know if the sound is really actually that different on the drums themselves. So that's what we're gonna try and answer today. The game plan is I'm going to go through just a, a bunch of random sticks that uh, I, I grabbed here that have a bunch of uh, different tip sizes and types. I'm just going to show you them individually, and then I'm going to play the ride and then I'll play the tom so that you can get uh, you know, cymbals and drum sound. So we'll go through all of them individually and then I'll do them all back to back in the same order in which they appeared. We'll do them all just real quick back to back on the ride and we'll do them back to back on the drums. So the first stick we're going to look at is the Vader Blazer. This is what I typically use. Let me see if I can get this to, to focus in here. Yeah, so this has what you call an acorn tip. It is fairly thick and on the cymbals and the drums, it sounds like this. Okay, next in line here, we have my mortal enemy, which is a, man, if I can pick it up here, a nylon tip stick. So of course we know that these are uh, plastic tips. They are um, the bane of my existence, but you know what? A lot of people like them, that is totally fine. This is a Vic Firth 5BN, and uh, on the cymbals and drums, it's gonna sound like this. All right, third, we've got another one of my favorite sticks. This is the Peter Erskine Ride Stick. This uh, is famously known to have one of the best sounds on cymbals. Um, it is called the Ride Stick and kind of does make rides always sound amazing. I'm not exactly sure how I describe this tip shape. Um, I don't know, maybe you can help me out here if I can get the camera to even focus in on it. Yeah, there we go. Um, it's a smaller, like, teardrop shape. Anyways, doesn't matter. Here's what it sounds like on cymbals and drums. All right, third, we've got this, uh, what is this? This is 
a Ludwig stick and this has what we call a ball tip on it. This is a fairly, fairly light stick to begin with, so we'll see if that affects the sound at all. So here's what it sounds like. All right, second to last here, we've got uh, another Peter Erskine stick. If you didn't know, Peter Erskine is uh, one of the few drummers to have multiple signature sticks. And you can see this has a very, very small tip on it. This is like, I don't know what you would call this, but it's a very, very small tip on this one. So, sounds like this. Okay, and finally, we've got a Promark 5A The Natural, is what it's called. This has um, more of like an oblong tip. I can't remember exactly what you call this one. Uh, it's an oval tip, that's what it's called. So this one's got an oval tip, and uh, sounds like this. Okay, so what I am noticing in the room here is that there is definitely a difference on the ride, as I expected. Um, I'm not really hearing that much of a difference on the tom here, and you would expect that you would get a different sound depending on how much surface area um, there is on the stick, like how much uh, area on the stick is actually making contact with either the ride or the drum and like I said It's definitely making a difference when we're hitting a piece of metal, but I'm not hearing as much of a difference on the Tom here So here's what we're going to do next um, I'm going to just play through all of these in a row again same order in which they appeared before We're just gonna go and blast through all six of these different types of sticks and just see really quickly Can you tell the difference again? through microphones and everything, um, and then how much of a difference is it making on the toms. So, here we go. Okay, let's talk about that in a second. Let's try it on the tom now. All right, so there you go. The ones that I thought sounded really significantly different, um, on the ride at least, were the, the two Peter Erskine sticks, and especially this one, the super, super tiny tip there. It sounded uh, very, very different, and you know, in a good way or a bad way, that is up to you, of course. I definitely noticed that they felt different on the Tom, but I didn't think that they sounded significantly different. I, I, I barely noticed a difference at all. I definitely noticed more how they felt versus how they sounded on the tom. But maybe it comes through more clearly in the microphone. So my conclusion I'm drawing here in just this short little non-scientific test is that stick tip and stick material and type whatever Definitely significant difference on uh, the cymbals and on the ride in particular, but on drums, 
I don't think you're really gonna get that much more of a fatter sound with a different stick type. Um, now you might play differently because they feel differently, but I don't think tonally you're actually gonna get you know, a fat sound. So um, let me know if there are any more experiments like this that you would like to see. Let me know which stick type was your favorite uh, or what sticks you use. I would love to hear in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and uh, I'll see you next time.